Hi, this is Jeff with iPhone Download Blog. One of the bad things about tethered jailbreaks, besides the obvious fact that you have to be near a computer to reboot your phone into jailbreak mode, is the time that it takes to perform a tethered boot of your iPhone. No doubt the uh, dev team has received numerous upon numerous requests for an easier way uh, to boot an iPhone using the tethered boot method. So what they've done is they've created a script of sorts uh, in order to uh, expedite the process, so to speak. So now they've released uh, Red Snow 9.6 Release Candidate 7, which includes a uh, sample script file uh, that runs a script that pretty much bypasses a few of the, the initial screens of Red Snow, so you can get right to the uh, Tether boot. So I'm going to show you how to use that script and uh, how to quickly get into Tether boot mode uh, in Red Snow. The first thing you're going to need is to download uh, Red Snow 9.6 Release Candidate 7. You can download that on our site at iphonedownloadblog.com um, and you'll see a link for downloads. Once you download um, the uh, Release Candidate 7, just extract uh, the items to your desktop. So you want to extract Red Snow and then you also have a command shell. I've renamed this shell um, script um, just to ip4.command just because I have an iPhone 4. The one that comes with the script is actually for an iPod Touch but it's the same methodology behind it. So I'll just open that up just to show you um, what it looks like here. Let's see, pull this down. Let me zoom in a bit. So basically it's just a basic script. You'll see where it has open and then it points directly to your desktop, Red Snow app, and then there's a few arguments here. This first argument, uh, the J argument, is just for just boot now uh, mode. So that basically tells Red Snow that you want to do a tethered boot. And then the I uh, allows you to specify the firmware that you want to use. So for this, I'm using, of course, the firmware that's located right on my desktop, right there. So it's the same name uh, firmware um, in this script that is on my desktop. So you do need the firmware on your desktop as well, along with Red Snow and along with the script, script itself. So once you have um, those three items there and you have it configured that way, you can just go ahead and basically just execute this script and you will see um, the normal Red Snow dialog followed by um, the prompts for DFU mode. So basically all this does is skip the initial screens of Red Snow. So let's just execute this and see how it works. Okay, you'll see a command prompt open up my terminal and then you can see where it opened directly up to the uh, DFU mode request. So it's asking me to put my phone in the DFU mode right now. So I have my phone hooked up. I'm going to just go ahead and power it down. Alright, there you go. So it's doing its thing. Okay, so the iPhone is back completely rebooted. Uh, it's back into uh, jailbreak mode. So see city loads right up and that pretty much is how you use Red Snow 9.6 Release Candidate 7. So you can download it from uh, our download section again and check out iPhone for more details. This is Jeff with IDB.